guys, welcome back to Little Te um, Little Circuits. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to build um, um, uh, wait, no, not how to build. Uh, how to convert an AC to a DC current. Um, and I like this project because um, uh, I'm I'm wondering how how the, does it do this? How does it do this? I know the um, I know the DC motor. I know the motor is a DC motor. It runs on DC current, not on AC current. And I want to know how it works, and like really, I want to know how it works. So first, you have to place a board here. Of course, for every for almost every project, we need a board. Basically, every project we basically you don't need a board. It works without a board, but this keeps but it keeps them sort of evenly spaced. So so first. Wait a second to get the positioning ready. First, you gotta place the meter here. Meter here. With, uh, two snap wire here. And a four snap wire here. Let me slide it there so you can see it. And there's a meter as you can see. The meter M2. Place M2 there. Over here there, it's M2. So where I'm pointing at. I'm pointing it out that that white thing there is meter two. You can't see it. And actually, I need this five for something. And that is, and that is this, and that is um. Wait a sec, yeah. I'm working on the positioning, but yeah, there. And actually, I use this. I actually need this five, which I was pointing the meter at. Then, next, this part is optional. There are two options you can do with this. And I think this is um this is the advanced one. What, is, what parts is uh, this one uses a diode? So yeah, this one uses the diode. This one, oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Good. And here. Good. This one is actually op. This part is actually optional. You can use an LED here. Paste the LED. You can use an LED there, or you can use a diode. No, you don't have to use the LED, you can just use the diode. I recommend the LED, because that's what it shows in the, um, that's what it shows in the book. Use the LED. But I know they're both the same thing. An LED tells you if the, um, the anode or something. Wait a sec. The an if the anode is placed correctly. The um the die the it lights up if the anode is placed correctly. Then wait, is it the yeah yeah the anode is the um yeah if the anode is placed correctly, the LED lights. That's what it means. Just to check, but it takes up more energy. That's why um that's why we can't. That's why we can't. That's why we can't use it in most circuits. Yeah, then you're going to get an L2 lamp. L2 won't light. Wait, L2 will light. L2, L2, wait. Let me check. L2 will. Yeah. So we're gonna place it. I think it should light. Place the L2 there. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. You're gonna place it on the less at the less winding side. Place an S2 switch. S2 switch. Not an S1. An S2. That is the press switch. Over here. And of course, for every circuit, we use a battery. And we place the battery here. S2, L2, and turn it on. Yeah, it does light. It lights. It, the LED, the D1 lights because uh, it's changing the, um, it only lets the current flow in one direction. Alternate AC current stands for alternate current and DC current is all direct direct current direct 
Yeah, I gotta look back in the first book. DC motor and switch. Direct current, yeah. Yeah, DC stands for direct current, AC stands for alternate connection, current. Alternate current, or I do not know, but um, but yeah, this is used to only let the current flow in one direction. So when we press it, it it changes. It allows you to convert an AC current to a DC current. Yeah, um, now you can basically, uh, if you use the circuit, you can basically, um, you can basically use the AC power supply and using the circuit, when you power it, when you power it using the AC power supply, it, um, the AC power supply um, is the AC current and then it changes to, D, then this circuit changes it to DC current. And probably you can basically, um, whatever. Wait, this is just an example, but something that you can do. Yeah, I got to, I got to um, wake up my computer. So, so you can basically power anything. That is the plus of the um, circuit you want to power and the minus. So basically you can build any circuit you want. You can build, you can charge a capacitor with DC current. I do not know if that works or not. Emit signals, make signals that use DC current with a uh, antenna coil. Make capture FM signals. You can build an FM radio. Yeah, you can. You can. Because the FM radio doesn't use any of the parts we're using here. Except for the batteries, of course. But, so, yeah, if you have an extra battery supply, maybe probably, yeah, you can try. You can try to build an FM radio using a DC current. Pretty weird. But, yeah, that's how to convert an AC to DC current using project three project number 359 uh to around 360 359 in snap circuits pro third book the last book and yeah the project's called ac to dc current that's how to convert ac to a dc current in this channel little circuits and i'll see you next time bye